I'm a Pisces, so I also tend to have a lot of fantasies. Pisces like to dream and, you know, fantasize about all different kinds of things. So I think I also tended or tend to think of love in kind of like a fantastical way or, you know, very dreamy way. Um, and I think that's also okay. I think it's fine to give over to, like, life being fantastical and dreamy. Like, not everything has to be, like, practical and hard work and make sense, right? Okay. So, yeah, I think that's fine. But I think that, and I think she touches on this in the book, like, I think that the reason that a lot of men think of love more as like a feeling is that the the quote unquote work of love is usually left to women. Hmm. I mean, we know that like women are generally the caregivers, right? In all kinds of situations, right? Like um, if someone is sick, if the child needs taken care of, and it doesn't matter the age, like we ask girls to do this too all the time. Right? Very true. <laughs> um, we expect women to take on the, the caregiving roles in life. Just, first of all, we expect it to happen naturally, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we also expect women to always prioritize that, right? And I think that care is a really central piece of love, like Very in true. the, in the, how it manifests in physical, you know, expression. Taking love from the feeling to the action, I, I feel like we expect women to do a lot of that within society in general. Do you think that women are more connected to the feeling? If we are, I genuinely think it's only because we've been allowed to. I don't think it's like a biological thing or I agree. I think it's just I think it's just, you know, how we're socialized to be. And I think and, and I didn't think about it until you added the piece that you did. Mm -hmm. And that may be why men focus on function mm -hmm. as much as they do, mm -hmm. because we're not really conditioned to feel. Mm -hmm. And there is a cost to that. But you can only go so long with cutting this very integral part of you off mm. and not having the ability, the tools to tap into a very significant part of who you are. And so you just rely on like this function of provider, whatever that means. And meanwhile, you've got all of this other stuff that is that is hinting mm -hmm. at that it's there. Um, but you, you don't know how to access it in any, in any real way. And so maybe that's why we think of love more like a feeling. I remember when I was dating this woman um, and we went to therapy mm -hmm. and the therapist asked, so what do, you, what do you want? What are you waiting on? And that was pointed to me. And I was like, I don't know, I'm waiting on a feeling. I'm waiting to feel like this is the woman. Mm. I'm waiting to feel like this is the direction that I want to go in. Mm -hmm. And I always waited for that feeling. Like it was going to just like smack me in the face or like run into me at a stoplight at an <laughs> intersection or something. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand that maybe it doesn't come maybe I have to make it 